Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What comes to your mind when you think of street art? Rebellion, nonconformity, and innovation. As an artist, I research and explore other artists, their movements, and usually it comes down to understanding what they've changed about the world. Now, street art is really associated with men and the Western society. Art has been used as a way of conveying ideas in periods of time. But whenever we see anything pertaining to street art, we might think of Banksy, uh, Os Gomeos, or Blue. But where are the women? Do we have a greater awareness of women's roles in society and street art? So, um, uh, the 21st century has presented itself with a lot of change in a very short period of time. Those changes were recorded and reflected by street art. Because street art has always been there for people to see whenever they go to work, or, um, and they show people that what is truly happening within the country. The, um, one of the really bigger events that happened in the, um, the, in the 21st century is the Arab Spring. The Arab Spring was on the news, the media, newspapers, and the radio. Whenever we saw anything pertaining to the actual Arab Spring, the media would put the brave, strong, rebellious, and courageous men who fought courageously for their democracy in the forefront. But what about the women, once again? And guess who was put on the back burner? The initial portrayal by the media of women's roles in the Arab Spring and the um, uprisings. With the emergence of the Arab Spring in 2011, women started using street art in means of communication and the promotion of social, social justice. All of this through street art. Uh, when we look at the, um, the women who participated in the Arab Spring, we know that the creator of the, one of the creators of the Arab Spring is um, Tawakul Karman, a journalist, human rights activist, and a Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Her efforts in gathering students to protest at her university campus resulted in great success. Or when Asma Mahfouz um, gathered, called for the eradication of Hosni Mubarak by publishing a video that got thousands of people to gather in Tahrir Square to protest. Those protests ended up being referred to as one of the starting points of the Egyptian revolution in 2011. But with the emergence of the Arab Spring in 2011, women such as uh, Bahia Shabab, Hent Kira, and Mira Shihade started using street art in means of communication through, um, and to reflect on women's issues and social justice. Uh, but once women started influencing the public opinion, other artists such as Kaiser um, began to, uh, began to uh, use street art as well, in collaboration with the female artists, to promote women's roles in the revolution and what women have created. Um, street art communicates with the public. Rebellion and nonconformity is what comes to mind when we think of street art. Um, street art. And women were very active as protesters, civilians, and fighters in the Arab Spring. But it has been argued that women received very little media attention, um, for their efforts in the revolution. But wo Arab women made it more than just clear that they are no less than any man. Uh, once women started actually influencing the public opinion a bit more, to the point where they started creating their own things and people started to see it more, other male artists began to work together with them once again, but, in this, but this time more collaborati co collaboratively, rather than working for them because women must create for themselves. Be Afraid of Us, a stencil done by the anonymous Kyrene artist Kaiser. During the January Revolution, many of the women who protested alongside men were exposed to sexual violence. This called for more street art, highlighting the issue of being and the struggles of being a woman and a protester, and being a female protester altogether, because women um, got very little coverage for everything they did, because the media doesn't put all the women who were targeted, who were beaten, and who were stripped. Don't touch or castration awaits you, a stencil done by the artist Hent Kira, who became more prominent with the start of the Arab Spring. 
Note to sexual harassment, a stencil done by Mira Shihade, highlighting the issue of sexual violence in Egypt. Samir Ibrahim is another figure that emerged on the walls of Egypt because she was one of the women who were, the pro who were in the sit-ins in Tahrir Square who were beaten, electrically shocked, and then exposed to virginity tests. Of course, street artists used her face and depicted it all over the country. Activist Alia Magda El Mahdi also took advantage of this and drew herself naked and in reference to Samira Ibrahim because she was forced to strip. And she got so much media attention while Samira Ibrahim was naked and forced to do so and got almost no media coverage for it. <coughs> um, Women on Walls is an art project that was created as a, as a result of the Arab Spring. Um, wipe it off and, paint, I'll, and I'll paint it again. One of the other uh, art movements that was created was the Harimi Project. Those projects were aimed to tackle women's rights and women's participation through um, the empowerment that is used from street art. Um, all these efforts resulted in a new symbol of the revolution. A woman in a Blue bra woman in a blue bra was beaten and dragged and then stripped by soldiers publicly. But those women, but those women um, were, ended up being depicted on the walls of Egypt multiple times. Um, for example, a stencil emerged depicting a blue, um, woman in a blue bra being shamelessly beaten by policemen. And then a, of a woman um, in a and then just a blue bra with the words, no to, um, no to the stripping of the people, as followed. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, as one of the many growing artists, I'm inspired by these people. The purpose of the Arab Spring was to tackle a corrupt authoritarian government to ensure the right to a democracy. This system dictated the lives of millions, and as you can see, people have used street art as a way of showing those realities. Arab women um, could not have used a better time to tackle this oppressive system and rise up against the oppressive and unhealthy government policies set against them. Street artists use street art as, a, as active resistance against the erasure of women, both politically and socially. Um, Feminist street art was an integral part of communicating with the crowd because people still continue to use street art as a way of tackling issues worldwide. But um, the feminist, like feminist street art, it had been reflected in the streets of Egypt multiple times and um, projects such as the Harimi and the Women on Walls will continue to grow because people will be continuing to use street art as an act of resistance and as a way of showing their ideas and thoughts openly. Now, a major issue that people faced during the Arab Spring was that people tended to, especially the authority, tended to erase street art regularly. In the street of AUC, the streets could only remain blank for a couple of hours before it was painted over again with the words, keep wiping off street art, you cowardly regime. And all of this as an attempt by the authority to cut off communication with the public and as a way of silencing the artist. By the erasure and the eradication of artistic movement, art, um, authorities attempted to stop people from showing their true thoughts and opinions, which goes against the very aim of the Arab Spring, to make your voices be heard. You can step on the flowers all you want, but you can never delay the spring. And during the Rolling Stone interview with the artist Hent Kira that I mentioned before in my speech, she had also mentioned that her art was prone to cover-ups and erasure regularly. This was a serious problem as women just began influencing the public opinion. Now, as one of the growing, as one of the many growing artists, in fact, I'm inspired by people who, by making art, also risk their lives, but are also able to guide their country towards more democracy and social justice. Now, people, um, street art has become a great part of our youth culture. Art is what changes our perception of the world we live in, and it shows what the world is going through right now. It brings us awareness of what people in Egypt are going through. It brings us awareness of what people in South Africa are going to, anywhere in the world, really. 
And we need to see more female artists in the media. We need to see more female artists, not only in the media or the TV or anything like that, we need to see them and their stories more publicly, so they're not erased or covered up, so we, can't, so we remain misinformed all the time. Um, we have to, uh, so part of seeing women and what they do in other parts of the world is also to see other women and activists that form our global culture who use street art to break the chain of conformity. Now, um, street art can move beyond male artists, of course. Now, you know more about Hent Kira, Sh um, Mira Shihade, and Bahia Shabab, not only Banksy and Luz Gomez and Blue. Street artists in the Arab world have showed just how powerful street art can be as a weapon against corruption and as a way of actively resisting the authorities to make a change in their country. This is just the beginning. Thank you.